Well, this is an extended look into the Sound Design Classic model of this data plate here. 5425. It's their Design C model. I took the unit completely apart to check out the inside. It does have a ferret antenna like I thought it would, because there's practically no way to get AM reception without it. Um, it was built in 76, I believe, the plate said. Um, it does have a full schematic on there. Um, the caps look fairly good, but um, you know, I don't know if any of these were replaced. They do not look it. They look to be fairly modern caps in here. It's got a um, dedicated tuner board. A dedicated, this is most likely the sound processing board. Uh, back here, looks like most likely a. It probably runs on DC. So it's probably a bridge rectifier board. It's got a mountain of wires in here. I'm not the best expert when it comes to electronics, but. Uh, it's got a controller board for the 8-track um, system. 8-track system looks to be in good condition. Very little dust or... Um, anything on there. But uh, the data plate said 276, I believe, or 75, so that was when this unit was built. By the looks of it here, it's got the input back here for the mic. It actually runs off the tape connection, which is right here. I can tell that for sure. It's got a um, tape connection. Runs right to here. I'm guessing it's made to record. Then it's got the capacitor for the tuning system here. And the string is in good condition, believe it or not. And... Steve Earl, the new CD is called I'll Never Get Out of This World Alive. That track is called I Am Alone, out of our Americana file. The world of WSM music. I'm Joe Lamarty. Marty Stewart's got a question for you. That means turn it on burn it down. Turn it off there. It does not, although it's only got a uh, two-wire setup, it does not have a hot chassis. It does look like it has some, it actually does have a few chips on it, on the board, on the tuning board. So even back then they were starting to get out of one's league. And it does have, looks like, some, yeah, and... Again, I'm going to send some of these over to RetroChat. Some Mylar caps down here. They probably need to be replaced. And that may be why I'm getting problems with the controls. This has been the extended look, though, with the sound design.